Well, Warner Brothers should have expected this reaction, you know, when they made the decision to take all 17 of the 2021 films and simultaneously distribute them, not just in theaters, but onto the HBO Max streaming service. And what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you've heard about it already, is it's not just the cinema chains like AMC, Regal, and Cinema, among others, along with NATO, the National Association of Theater Owners, as well as the movie partners, like one of the big ones being Legendary Pictures, that are upset with Warner Brothers for making this decision, you know, behind their back, you know, basically blindsiding them. But it's also the people that are part of the Directors Guild and the Actors Guild that are upset as well. Most notably, the most profitable director that they've had under the roof, you know, Christopher Nolan, the one that did the Batman trilogy, as well as recently did Tenet. You know, he, most importantly, I guess, is not happy with Warner Brothers making this decision. Because basically, according to several reports, including today, including people, including reports from the Today Show and Good Morning America, as well as CBS This Morning, and I'm sure later on tonight, Entertainment Tonight, among others, you know, he is... He has come out and basically ripped Warner Brothers, his shot on Warner Brothers, if you will, you know, on the decision. He's basically calling Warner Brothers out and saying that this is only being done because they want to build the subscription numbers for the service. And that is mostly true. Let's not deny that. We do have to agree with, um, agree with uh, Christopher Nolan on that. That is mostly true. But if I'm Warner CEO Anne-Marie then I have to basically make sure that I come up with a reasonable explanation as to why I've decided to go this direction. And I've got a feeling that reasonable explanation that she and the CEO of AT&T and the CEO of WarnerMedia are going to have to come up with and probably center around is the pandemic. Hopefully she can make a reasonable argument in defense by saying, look, you know, this is why we're doing it. You know, there are going to be people that even with the vaccine being distributed fully by this time next year or even before that, you know, in the summer, there's still going to be people that will be hesitant to go back to the theaters because of several reasons. One, they'll be unsure of the effectiveness of the vaccine. Two, they might be afraid of a relapse. And three, they're going to want to make sure all of the country is in the clear before they decide to go back to the theaters. You know, it could be one, hopefully it's one of those, if not all of them, that all three CEOs, you know, decide to explain being the reason or come up with being the reason as to why they've made the decision. Now, did Warners do wrong by not informing a lot of these studios of what they were going to do? Yeah, absolutely. They did, you know, they should have basically gone to the proper channels, just like they did with Wonder Woman 84, and just like they did with Wonder Woman 84 when it came to Gal Gadot, Gaia Gadot and Patty Jenkins. You know, they should have done the same thing here. They should have just said, look, this, they should have just contacted them and said, look, this is what we plan to do. And we're going to offer you the same thing we did, Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins for Wonder Woman 84. We're going to compensate you by, you know, making up for what you potentially could lose, you know, or not make at the box office theatrically. And we're going to make up for that by doing the same thing we're doing for them, we'll do for you. So, you know, could they have done that? Absolutely. They could have done that. And I'm sure none of this would be going on right now. Nobody would be saying a thing, but they didn't do that. And you have to ask yourself, why didn't they go through the proper channels? Why didn't they do the right thing and let these people know that they were going to do this, just like they did with Patty and Gail Gadot with Wonder Woman 84? Why didn't they do that? And my theory, and this is just mere speculation, but my theory and speculation is I think one of the CEOs, probably the head CEO, Anne Marie, and I say this with no offense, no disrespect, but I've got a feeling she may be a germaphobic person. And with this pandemic going around, Maybe she is looking at, it from, looking at it from her point of view of being hesitant about going back, you know, to theaters or going to any kind of indoor activity or entertainment venue or whatever 
because maybe she is unsure of how effective the vaccine is going to be. And maybe she fears or believes it could or is considering that there could be a relapse. And perhaps because of all that and viewing it from her point of view, she decided to go with this decision. Again, I'm not saying that's true. It's just mere speculation and a mere theory on my part. Who knows? It could be that the CEO of Warner Media is that way. And maybe he is the one that suggested it to Anne Marie. Again, not saying that's true, or not saying, you know, not saying that's true or anything, but it makes you wonder why were they in such a hurry to do this without going through the proper channels? You got to think, you got to think for a second why? What was the why were they in such a hurry? Now, again, many people like Nolan have, if not will, point out that it is about, you know, the subscription service and building up the subscriber numbers. I do agree with that. Getting a lot of money back on the subscription service to kind of help them, you know, surpass, you know, tie or get even or go even, if you will, if not surpass the likes of Disney Plus, Netflix and Hulu. I do agree with that. There's no doubt. Get, there's no hiding that or getting around it. But still, you have to wonder, besides that being the main reasoning, despite what they may say, what, uh, what is the other reasoning why they were in such a hurry? Why didn't they go through the proper channels? Like I said, when they decided to do, do the same thing with Wonder Woman 84, why didn't they go through the proper channels you know, with these 17 that they did with that movie? Again, you know, again, it makes you wonder, you know, what was the reasoning? What was the quick decision making in doing that? Was it just because of the subscription numbers not being what they want and they want to raise that up? Or is it because perhaps one of the CEOs, either the head CEO herself or the CEO of Warner Media, is basically in that category of people that is unsure about the effectiveness of the vaccine and is kind of hesitant about going, you know, going out again to a movie theater or any kind of entertainment value, uh, venue and sitting around people or a crowded place? You know, a crowded place of people, I should say. Again, it makes you makes you wonder, it makes you question, you know, you know, what was the quick decision making behind this? But yeah, you know, obviously on top of, like I say, the movie partners and the cinema chains and NATO, you know, National Association of Theater Owners, you know, now you can add at the top the most profitable, successful director they've ever had, Christopher Nolan. Uh, m along with members of the DGA and members of the AGA that are not happy with this decision that Warner Brothers has made. Now, the only question is, how do they make up for it? I've got a feeling what's going to happen is they're going to probably have to give a majority of the profits from the subscription revenue that they get, as well as any box office revenue they may get, directly to those directors and those actors and actresses that made these, made these films, you know, possible. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on the whole situation? Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I will talk to you later. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with what I had to point out? Like maybe, you know, perhaps one of the CEOs, maybe the head one is, you know, in that category of the unsure and hesitantness. Let me know down below. Comment if you like. And I'll talk to you all later.